Falcon and the Winter Soldier has been a huge hit since it aired on March 19th and following the story after Avengers Endgame and coming on TV right after WandaVision. This show is on the right path of success. The amazing performances and the perfect cast make this show even better. But have you ever wondered what it would look like if different actors were cast in the show? Well, let us tell you about the 10 actors who were almost cast in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Number 10. Miki Ishikawa Before Miki Ishikawa landed her role as Leia in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, there have been some predictions as for her role. When rumors started flowing around who might get cast in this show, many fans had their theories as to who will get which role. Ishikawa is mainly known for her legendary role in the second season of The Terror, and if you've seen that show, you know how talented this actress is. As for her role in this show, rumor has it that before she landed the role of Leia, she was considered to play Jolt. And to be honest, Ishikawa tattooing a lightning bolt on her wrist fed these theories even more. Unfortunately, the producers had another role for her in mind, as Leia. So have you dated much since half the fish in the sea came back? Not really. Number 9. Patrick Gorman As we mentioned, this show follows the events of Avengers Endgame after Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes team up. Now, there were a lot of mentions that Old Man Cap would appear in the show to give advice to Wilson, but no one was sure who would play it. Instead of doing visual effects on Chris Evans and making him old, the producers were almost set to hire another person to play him, and that person was Patrick Gorman. After long considerations, they decided it's for the best if they stick with Chris Evans for the role. Sadly, Patrick Gorman was out of the picture for the show. But to be honest, we can imagine anyone else other than Chris Evans taking the role of Old Man Cap. Well, that's right. Put the stones back, I thought. Number 8. Aaron Kellyman We know that Kellyman already has a role in the show, but what you didn't know is the role she was offered before they changed their minds and gave her the role of the Flag Smasher. In the plot of the show, it is revealed that Bucky Barnes actually has a sister, so fans were suspicious whether she would enter the world of Marvel or not. Well, when the casting for the show was happening, they had some ideas for including Ricky Barnes into the show and their first choice was Aaron Kellyman. But once they saw that the role of Carly fits her much better, they decided to go with the role of the Flag Smasher instead of Bucky's sister. And that decision was definitely perfect for this show. How much time do we have? None. It's the Power Brokers, man. Everybody grab what you can. Number 7. Zazie Beats This name sounds familiar to you. It should. Zazie Beats is known in the MCU as Domino in Deadpool 2 where she plays a badass heroine who always gets lucky. Since Marvel released that Deadpool 3 is in the making, she was not sure whether she would make a comeback to the third Deadpool movie, and she was considered to play a role in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, as Sam Wilson's sister, Sarah. Even though she didn't even make it to the auditioning process, we do believe this show would be amazing if she was in it. But they decided to go with the amazing and talented actress Adipero Odui and leaving Beats space if she wants to go back and take the role of Domino in the Deadpool movies. I don't get what you're going for here. Are you trying to help us or indict us? Number 6. Liev Schreiber As we mentioned previously, Aaron Kellyman will take on the role of Carly Morgenthau or the Flag Smasher, but rumor has it that they were even considering introducing Carl Morgenthau to the show. Before they decided on creating this cinematic version of Carl Morgenthau and having Kellyman have that role, they were doubting whether they should stick with the actual Carl himself or change it up. For that role, the first choice was Liev Schreiber who has a history in the MCU as playing Victor Creed in X-Men Origins and also as Fisk in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Sadly, they decided that they wanted to change up the show and upgrade it a bit, and decided to make the Flag Smasher the cinematic version role played by Aaron Kellyman. Number 5. Karen Gillian did you know that before Emily Van Camp was considered for the role, few other actresses actually almost made it and had the role of Sharon Carter? One of them was Karen Gillian. Even though she did make an appearance into the MCU, she had the chance to play the one and only Agent 13 in the show. While producers weren't sure if Emily Van Camp would want to come back and reclaim her role as Carter, they were on the hunt for actresses in case Van Camp said no. So that is how Gillian made it to the short line in becoming the next Sharon Carter. Unfortunately, Emily Van Camp gladly accepted to have the role of Agent 13 back, but also Gillian did make her way to yet another Guardian of the Galaxy's Volume 3 movie. 
So this is the leader of the Flag Smashers, huh? Yeah, real nice guy. Number four, John Krasinski. Remember when Krasinski told the story of how he and Chris Evans both were auditioning for the role of Captain America? Well, Krasinski didn't give up on that dream. Even though back then he didn't get cast for that role, he decided to try his luck again and see if he could get a role in The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. He was considered for the role of the US agent John Walker alongside Wyatt Russell, but unfortunately, he missed the shot to star in a Marvel movie again, since they decided to give the role to Russell. The Office star doesn't hold a grudge though, and we do hope that the next time he decides to audition for a Marvel movie, he'll get the part. Don't know, Bucky. But it's only a matter of time before we find out. Number 3. Alison Brie As we mentioned, a few actresses were after the role of Sharon Carter, and when things were in the unknown for whether Emily Van Camp would like to return for the role of Agent 13, there were some actresses who were dying to get into the Marvel Universe. One of the few who were considered for that part was the community star Alison Brie. Even though she ended up not landing the role of Sharon Carter, MCU does think she might be great in a different role, due to the lots of rumors that she might even be the face of She-Hulk. As sad as we are that we won't be able to see her in this show, we truly hope to see her as She-Hulk in the near future. Number 2. Emilia Clark. The Game of Thrones' Mother of Dragons is another one of the actresses who couldn't hold back on the opportunity to find her place in the Marvel Universe. She has previously attempted to land the role of Captain Marvel, but when she ended up not getting the role, she thought she will try next time. This time, it was rumored that she was on the close call to getting a role in this show. But the part she would have taken is still unknown. That is utter bullshit. You're a terrible shrink. I was an excellent... Number 1. Henry Cavill when it comes to playing a superhero, Henry Cavill is one of the few actors that know how to do it right. Playing the role of Superman is definitely a role made for Cavill, so it would only be fair to give him the role of US agent John Walker, right? Well, you might think so, but even though he was considered to be a great fit for the role and an incredibly talented actor, he was just not the right one for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The role for that went to Wyatt Russell, but we could definitely see Cavill land a few roles in the future movies. So if he decides to join the Marvel Universe, we're sure that he'll get the best role possible for him. On a related note, we wanted to know which one of these actors do you think would be a great fit for the show? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.